Hi, and welcome to another tutorial in the Make the Cut Basics tutorial series. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use the library function inside Make the Cut. So you can see on my mat here, I have a little tag shape that I've created. And this is something that I might want to add to a number of different projects. So I want a way to save it and then quickly be able to add it to my project. So first of all, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so that that is a little bit easier to see. Now over here on the right I'm going to go to custom shapes and you'll notice in the middle there's a spot called your library and if I click on the drop down arrow you'll notice a number of different shapes that are in my library. To add a shape to the library all you need to do is click on it on the mat so that it's selected and then right click, go down to export and select to library. Then it'll ask you to name the shape and I'm just going to call mine tag and click on add and then it'll come up and tell me that I have successfully exported that shape or group of shapes to the library. Now to use that shape I'm going to just create a new project here and I'm going to come back to my library and click the drop down arrow again and now when I scroll down you can see that tag is now a shape in the library that I can select. So I'm just going to click on that and then select use and you can see there the tag pops back into my project and I can use it to create a new project. Now I can also save more than one shape to the library so I'm going to start another new project and I'm just going to come over here and drop a couple of custom shapes onto my mat overlap them a little bit. Now to add both of those shapes to the library all I do is click and drag to select both of them right click, export to library, name the shapes again and click on add. It tells me again that I've successfully exported that group of shapes and then when I come over to library there's the two shapes that I can select and add back into a new project. Now you'll notice that those shapes came in uh, merged together with this little white space where they overlap. If I want to go back to my basic shapes, the circle and the triangle, all I need to do is select this, right click, come over to Shape Magic and click on Break. And now once again I have the two shapes that I can work with individually. Now you'll notice there are a couple of other buttons on the library screen. One of them is Help and if you click on that it just walks you through again how to export to the library. Click OK to get rid of that. And the other button is delete. If you've added something to your library and then you change your mind you don't want it there anymore all you need to do is go through the list and select it and I'm gonna grab shapes and then just click on delete. It'll pop up and ask you just to make sure you want to actually delete that shape. I'll click on yes and that shape has been deleted from my library. So I hope you found that tutorial helpful and I think you'll find that the library function is very useful.